In this video, we're going to look at top five reasons your 3D logo design isn't working. So let's jump in and look at all of these reasons and answer the questions. Join me. Welcome to Learn with Zaha, a community of entrepreneurs who use design to make money and grow online. In today's video, we're going to look at the top five reasons why your logo design is not working when you're using the mock-up. Coming in at number five as the top reason we are struggling with our designs is I'm on Photo P app and it's not working. So let's answer that question and have a look at how you can fix that. If you've decided to go with downloading the Photo P app, just be aware that the Photo P was actually created initially as a free online editor. So it was designed and created to be used online. I'm not saying the app doesn't work. It does. I've tried it. It works. And But sometimes with apps, you will get a little bit of a problem. All I'm saying is it, it's better to you rather use it on your browser and make your designs and make your 3D logos and whatever on the online app. The other cool thing about being online is when you have a little bit of a problem, you can report a bug, you can um, log a, an issue and let the designers and the developers of this tool what issues you have and they will come back to you and let you know and help you. You could also have a look at other issues that people have had and what answers they've received for that issue that they've had. So if you're using the app, um, that's fine. If you're having a problem with the app, then I suggest that you go to the online tool. So coming in at number four is what is the password for the black background 3D mockup? So the quick and easy answer to the question, what is the password? You probably found my videos on one of the logos that we did and the password is on the description below and it's inspiring.p but don't copy it from the description and paste it on the um, download it doesn't work that way rather type it out to say inspiringp.com and then you press enter then it's going to download the other way that i've done to make things easy for you my designer is i've created a link um, that's this option number two where I would say you can not go through the download via the psfiles.com um, you can go directly to this link that I've created for you and you can download it there and it looks like this when you get there it won't need a password all you do is just you click on download and then it just downloads to your computer and that's how you get around the if you're looking for this particular mock-up if you want more mock-ups that's not a problem you can download them from free peak etc so reason number three is it's not working i have an iphone issue where i'm using an iphone this is the popular one you would think it's the most popular but it's not um so let's have a look at the workaround for this particular issue if you're designing your logos on an iPhone, please go find this video that's showing on the screen after you've watched the whole video and then find your workaround when it comes to iPhone. But if you continue having issues, report a bug and let the developers know that you're struggling with your iPhone. Coming through at number two is I'm struggling to download a 3D mockup even on freepeak.com. I want to show you how to download one on freepeak.com and I want to show you how to go to the video that I've created on how to download the inspiringbee.com mockup. If I'm adding value, please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe because if you do that, um, YouTube shares the video to so many other designers that could get more value from the video. With the I'm struggling to download the inspiringbee.com, uh, this video that we've created that says download and unzip mockup, it's a six minute video. 
please go find this video i'll add it on the de description below so that you also find it and go through and have a look at how to do it for the inspiringbee.com for free peak i want to show you how to download a mock-up on free peak you would search for 3d mock-up mock -up. and then you would click on 3d mock-ups and there's 83,000 resources so say for instance you would like this one that doesn't have a paid version because the, if you scroll down there are paid versions of the mockups that have the crown see these ones with crowns you need to pay for this is a gorgeous looking one anyway uh, let's look at this one this is a nice coffee one if you have a customer that's opening a retail store and you want to show him how his logo or her logo is going to look like you can open this one you click on open logo then you go find this button that says download and it says to you please take note the free pick wants you to give attribution in other words if you use this logo you can obviously sell it but if you use it um, and you advertise it some way you need to give attribution in other words you need to give credit to the person that has created this 3d mockup so to download you're going to click on download and it asks you do you want to go premium or do you want a free download which means accreditation or credit needs to be given for you downloading it for free if you want to go premium that means you're going to pay for resources on free peak uh, if you're starting out you would use the download and it would tell you it's downloading and then it um, asks you to log in so you need to log in with your details uh, your gmail account or whatever email account that you would register for and then free peak is going to download the file and the file downloads like that so what is important with free peak is you need to copy this attribution this here you need to say that the person that designed which is Riandra you're going to click on copy attribution wherever you use it especially on social media you need to say that you have copied the attribution and the horse is happy and then you're giving credit to the person that has created this um, file so what happens with the mock-up is let me show you while we're here let me open it up open it up and show you it would create two files sometimes more than two and it would have a PSD file it would also have a GPG or JPEG file don't use the JPEG because the JPEG is just showing you how your design is going to look like after you've used the mock-up when you use it on photo P always use the PSD file in order for you to convert your 2d logo to a 3d never the JPEG always the PSD or this is a Photoshop file by the way so you can use this one and then you can convert your 2d's to 3d's coming through at number one is I can't find save smart object I can't find my 3d um, mock-up I can't do this please help me so coming through at number one is the save smart object issue as well as the 3d glass logo it doesn't click I can't find it so let's have a look at how we fix this one the number one step one that you need to stop and say did I do this correctly is did you follow the steps when it comes to either downloading the file and loading the file as well as did I follow the steps to load the 3d mockup as well as following through with loading my design to photo P uh, that is number one you need to check your steps and see if you followed the steps correctly I will link the steps and I will write these steps again on this video in the uh, description below so that you have them and what I also want to show you is there's two options for you to use the black 
um, background of the mock-up you can either download it on PS files or you can go to link that I've created for you on Google uh, Drive so you can either use it that way so follow the steps first and make sure that you are following them correctly then your smart object will display because if you jump in on photo P and you don't go via open computer and you just go file the save smart object menu is or option on the menu is not available so you need to follow the steps in order for you to find the save a smart object the other issue that we have is we, I can't find or can, I can't double click on my layer for the logo on the side most of the time you're using iPhone if you're using iPhone it won't show rather go layer the way that I've shown you I think on point number three thank you for joining me today I'm going to link a video on the side so that you can watch more um, examples for your designs and you can be a better designer and make more online with your design work I will see you next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for being part of the community Thank you.